girlfriend. I'm Tiffany Butler because I love Tiffany's and one day I'm gonna need a butler to clean the sides of my house. We met in Paris. I was there on a shopping trip with my girlfriends, the most romantic place ever. And he was there because he was. And I came off the Eiffel Tower and he was standing there with a bouquet of roses. I took the roses. I ditched my girlfriends. And the rest is history. And here we are, buying a house in Finland. It was meant to be. That's that's actually not true. I was there for a charity project. Shh, shh, shh. I agreed to make the move from sunny California to Finland because he wanted it for work and he wanted to turn it down, but I said no. So in that case, I think I wear the pants in decision making because I made a giant sacrifice for him because I'm a good person. She does not wear all of the pants. It's more of like a shared pant operation sort of thing. Like I'm in one leg, she's in another leg, and we kind of just walk simultaneously. She doesn't make all the decisions we wear. We share the pants. They belong to both of us. I was offered a job here. I will be head engineer at the local college, and I would love it if our house could be maximum 15 minute bus ride or taxi. What are you looking for in a house? Five bedrooms. Five bedrooms? We don't need five bedrooms. Not five bedrooms. Definitely two kitchens. Two kitchens. No, no, no. Not two kitchens. We have a dog, so we're gonna need a big backyard. Yeah, we need a big backyard. Big backyard? A gated neighborhood. Uh, no, gated city neighborhood. center. City center? We'll figure it out when we get there. So we're almost to the first property. It's gonna be on the right, so tell me what you think of the curb appeal, okay? It's kind of bumpy. Um, I don't like this area, and the roads are total sketch. Like, it's dirt road, it's not even paved. This is so bumpy. I don't like this, I couldn't live with this. Hun, honey, stop, just stop. Honey, baby cakes, listen. It's not sketchy. It's it's not a dirt road. We're, we're not even moving. Stop wiggling the cameraman. It's not bumpy. It's a parking lot. We haven't left yet. Well, it was bumpy in my brain. I was preparing, okay? Is everything okay back there? It's okay, I guess. I mean, we're here. We may as well try it out. It is in the suburbs. It's a very pretty neighborhood, but what's the commute to work to city center? About 15 minutes. 15 minutes? That's, that's all right. I don't know, I just don't like its location. The area is just, I like the suburbs. I don't wanna be in city center. I was thinking a little more grandiose, like a gated community. Here is house number one. It has three bedrooms, two bath, one kitchen, one living room, and about a fourth an acre backyard. It's dirty. I can't live here. House number two has three bedrooms, four baths, and about an acre backyard. There's not enough natural light Baby cakes, just open the blinds. I don't want to open the blinds, because then there's no privacy. Duh. No. House number three. I don't like the color of the walls, and it's really stark, and that doesn't match my personality. House number four. The hallway is not my favorite. I mean, it's, it's nice, but it's just too much of a hallway. It feels too much like a hallway. I just can't live with that. House number 13. This shower is not gonna work for me because I'm like really tall. See, I hit my head on the way in and the faucet doesn't even hit my body. You see, I'm just too tall for this in the bath. It's just, it's too wide. Are they implying that I'm fat? No. It just won't not. work. The shower is fine. I'm 5'7", 
and it's it's fine. It's fine. House 36. Are we done yet? I don't like the furniture. It's not even ours. I don't care. Go look. I'll be at the nearest bar. Okay? Just The bedroom is delightful. I really like it, but I couldn't live in it. It's too small, it's too cramped. I need room. I need room. My name's not Tiffany Butler for a reason. I'm gonna need a butler to clean my house. It's too cramped. Okay, how is everyone feeling on the houses you've seen thus far? I'm becoming more excited because a few years ago, I was diagnosed with Finland, and it's been really tough because I don't know where I'm from. Apparently, the doctors say it's from Finland. I'm from Finland, and that's where we are now, and I think it'll feel good to get back to my roots. I really liked all the houses. I think we could have stopped looking maybe at the fifth house. I think we've seen over 65, but I loved all of them. And I think we're gonna be really happy. Well, I didn't really like any of them. So I think that that leaves us with one choice. Only one choice. I liked all of them. I thought they were all really nice. I think house 34 is the only house that was even near being inhabitable. I don't think it would have been possible to live in any other house. So number 34 it is. You like 34? I think that one was one of my top five out of, what, 69? How many did we see? 73. I'm so excited, we're moving to Finland. <laughs> so which house have you decided to purchase? We have made a decision. We are going to purchase house number 34 and we are gonna be so happy. That is a great choice. I'm gonna go now. After the butlers, I decided to live out my childhood dream, give up reality. That was dumb choice, dumb, dumb choice. Anyway. I became a librarian after the butlers and now I'm happy and I don't have to talk to people. I surround myself with books, inanimate objects that can't be annoying. Life is good. Another successful house hunt. Come back next week for another episode of International House Hunters.